Hi students, so welcome back to my class and you're here at Missy TV. For today's video, we're going to discuss about a writing exponential expression to a radical expression and vice versa. For example, we have here write h in radical form. So our note is when b is raised to m over n. So that is equal to n square root of b raised to m. All right. So for number one, we have here a raised to five over six. Okay. So what we're going to do is, all right. So this would be our radicand. A is our radicand, and then five would be our exponent. And then 6 would be our index, okay? So, our index is here, 6, okay? And then, write the radical sign. And then, we have the radicand A, okay? Which is the base. The base would be the radicand. And then, our exponent is our numerator. So, it is raised to the fifth power. So, this is the answer in number 1. Number 2, we have x raised to 1 half. Okay, so again, so let's have the radical sign and then the base would be our radicand and then next is our denominator would be the index. Okay, since this is 2, so we don't, we don't need to write 2 here because this is already square root. Okay, this means 2. So we don't need to write 2 here. Alright, so next is 1. So our numerator would be our power. So our power here is 1. Okay, um, we don't uh, use 1 as exponent. So we don't need to write 1 as exponent here. So this would be the final answer in number 2. How about in number 3? So we have 7c raised to 2 thirds. Okay, so again, since only c is raised to 2 thirds, okay, because um, they have no grouping sign here, so only C is raised to 2 thirds. So, um, the, our radicand here is only C. Okay? And then the next is our denominator would be our index. So, we have 3 here. And then our numerator would be our power. So, we have 2 here. Where is 7? Since 7 is not raised to 2 thirds, so 7 is here. Okay, so our final answer here in number 3 is 7, the cube root of C squared. How about in number 4? So we have B, C raised to 4 over 5. So here, we have the grouping symbol. So all together, B, C is raised to 4 over 5. So this will become, our radicand will be B, C. Because both B, C is raised to 4 over 5. Okay, so our index would be our denominator 5. Next, our uh, numerator 4. So since BC is raised to 4, okay, so this would be like this, raised to 4th power. Okay, because they are, uh, they are both raised to 4th power. So this would be our answer in number 4. How about in number 5? So we have x raised to 1 half, y raised to 1 half. Since x is raised to 1 half, so our radicand here is only x. So again, 2 will not, uh, we don't need to write 2 here and also uh, exponent 1 because we do not write 1 as exponent. Next is we have y raised to 1 half. So we have also here a uh, square root of y. Because, again, our index is 2, so this is here. We don't need to write 2 here and also 1 as exponent here, okay? So we can simplify this square root of x and square root of y. So, this would become, okay? So, this would become square root of x, y. Okay, so we can simplify uh, square root of x times square root of y, square root of x, y. How about if we need to do it vice versa? So write h in exponential form. For number 1, we have the cube root of c. So what we're going to do again, so our radicand would be our base, so that is c, right? Next is, our index is our denominator. So we have here 3, and then we have the power would be our numerator. Since we have no exponent here, so this is automatically 1. 
So the answer in number one is C raised to one third. How about in number two? So we have um, nine square root of B. Okay. So again, our base would be our radicand. So that is B. Okay. And then we need to write nine here. Okay. Next is um our index would be our denominator. So this is automatically two. So we have two here. And then since we don't have exponent here, so this is automatic one. So our answer in number two is nine b raised to one half. Next we have here number three. So again, our um, base here is our radicand. So we have a b c cube. Okay. Since they are all raised to the third power and they are all in the fourth root. Okay. So, we have the symbol sign or grouping symbol here. Okay? So, our, the numerator would be our index. So, that is 4. And then, our numerator would be the power. So, that is 3. So, the answer in number 3 is the quantity of A, B, C cube raised to 3 over 4. In number 4, we have the square root of M plus 3. Okay? So again here, our radical would be our base. So that is m plus 3. Since they are both okay, raised to 1, and also they are both in the uh, square root, so again, we have the grouping symbol here, and then 2 as our denominator, and then 1 as our numerator. So this is our answer in number 4. We have the m plus 3 raised to 1 half. And then for number 5, we have the square root of x plus the cube root of 7. Okay, here, our base would be x. Okay, so again, the square root. So this is um, 1 half. Okay, so this is plus, so right plus here. And then our base here is 7. Okay, and then next, our uh, denominator would be our index, so that is 3. And then this is um, raised to 1. So our answer in number 5 is x raised to 1 half plus 7 raised to 1 third. And that's how we end our lesson for today. If you have more questions, so please comment down below and don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Bye-bye!